don't know about how many of you are excited about this game, but I, I can't even I can't even say how excited I am about this game. So yeah, I'm just super stoked. I was a little bit older when Harry Potter came out. Uh, right now I'm 41, so I'm an older person ish. I know there's people older than me who love Harry Potter as well. Uh, but yeah, I <laughs> I'm super excited. And I'm super ready. Right? Doesn't it? So this is the trailer uh, for some of the stuff that's going on here. Now, I will point out a few things in this trailer once it, rest once it restarts. I mean, I guess technically I can turn it off, turn it back on, and that should actually get it to reset. So I figured I'd play the trailer in the background. I've got some stuff about the houses I want to talk about, too. So if I reset the trailer, there we go. So, of course, we got an owl. Obviously, owls are one of the familiars that wizards and witches can use in the Hogwarts world. Uh, they deliver messages so that's coming out of the Owlery at the top of Hogwarts Castle to deliver messages to all around the world. You've got students flying on brooms. You've got that enchanted ceiling for the main hall, which is pretty slick. Don't know what's going on here. There's nearly headless Nick. Obviously, the ghosts would still be there since they're ancient, 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 ancient. Looks like a class going on. Moon Knight, we got that. Moonlight. <laughs> Moon Knight. <laughs> that is... <coughs> the dark forest where you're not supposed to be. I don't know why there would be spiders back in the dark forest back then. So I want to. Oh, I wish I could pause this for a second. Hippogriff. And we got some green bolts. Looks like some Adava Kadavas trying to kill the owl. This is a wyvern, even though in the Harry Potter world they call them dragons. They have different dragons. Some actually are dragons, while others are wyverns, and some are the uh, long or oriental type of dragons. Uh, I guess it's a letter to say that they're accepted to Hogwarts, more than likely. I don't know. But they, no, they were already in Diagon Alley there. So I'm not really sure what that letter was. Maybe they are just excited to get a letter from someone. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Now, here's the thing with the Dark Forest and the spiders. Technically speaking, when Hagrid had Aragorn, his giant spider, and he released it, most of the children, the, the baby spiders, are the children of Aragorn as far as I understand. So I don't know why there would be that many spiders. So I wonder if that's a blooper or if there was another source for the spiders before. Oh, that looks dope. I wonder what extra stuff you get with the deluxe edition. Uh, they were showing it on their website. And I probably could pull it up here, maybe show that in the background. Uh, but in the deluxe edition, let's see. I'll put down my wand. Hogwarts. Legacy editions. Because I think there's like hats and all kinds of stuff that you can get with it. <coughs> Every edition of Hogwarts Legacy, what's included. That that's something that we can do here. There's also the pre-order option. Let's let's do this site here where they're talking about everything that's included. Uh, so this is charlieintel.com. Uh, let's see, Hogwarts Legacy 2023, Hogwarts Standard Edition, Deluxe, and Collector's Edition. So the standard edition of Hogwarts Legacy is pretty much what you would expect. It comes with the original content intended by developers with no additional digital content or physical content. I think that's the one I got. I might have got, I don't know if I got the deluxe pack or not. Moving up to the next pack, the deluxe edition is going to give you three day early access. Oh. I, oh. Oh, I wonder if I can upgrade. That alone. Dark Arts Battle Arena, Dark Arts Cosmetic Set, Dark Arts Garrison Hat, and Thestral Mount. Thestral are those horses that are like skeletal, and they've got wings. Uh, and Luna saw them in the movie, but not everyone can see them. It looks like the carts that were taking them to Hogwarts were just being drawn by magic. But in fact, they were Thestrals because you have to have a near-death experience in order to see a Thestral. I'm not a Harry Potter Hogwarts world expert, but I know a lot of stuff. So, yes, I am a geek. I am a geek. Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition, three-day early access. So, everything else you got in the deluxe, plus a life-size floating wand with book base, Kelpie robe, steel case, and, thest no, and the Thestral Mount was already part of the other one, too. So, you just get three more things. So, yeah, I, I would have missed, ooh, $280, I guess, just for the big stuff. Uh, honestly, I can see getting the deluxe edition and I, I can't remember what I pre-ordered so I pre-ordered it on Steam because I'm a huge fan of Steam so Hogwarts Legacy which one did I pre-order 
thought there was a way to see what I pre-ordered. Maybe not. Thought there was. So coming February 10th, I'm actually going to take two days off of work. The Friday it comes out, and then Saturday and Sunday I'm going to play, and then Monday. So I have a four-day streaming extravaganza because I'm that excited about the game. Not near death. You have to see someone die. Oh, oh, look at me. Look at me getting corrected here. How is Harry Potter's universe called? Uh, the Wizarding World, I guess you could technically call it. Uh, you can also, yeah, the Wizarding World is, I think, the term most folks call it. Or just Harry Potter universe, whatever you want. I've only ever heard Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Yeah, there you go, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Sounds goofy. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's a fictional game, which is awesome. So, yes. I have a very small wand collection. I have Severus Snape's wand, and I have Hermione Granger's. And then I have a second Hermione Granger's that you can flick, and it casts the spell Lumos, which is light. And, you know, and you can flick it again to turn it off, which basically the command would be Nox. So I thought that was pretty wild. But I'm excited. Now, I also did all the official Pottermore quizzes. Now, here's the thing. In Hogwarts, there are four houses... And those four houses, students will be sorted into them, and that's basically kind of like fraternities in a way. Not really fraternities, because, yeah, it's kind of co-ed. But, let me put my wand away. As cool as it was to play with it, I'm going to put my wand up for a second. It comes in a nice Ollivander's collector's box. But uh, you have one of four different houses that you can join. And for the most part, it suggests that you can choose which house you want to be in, even though you can take the official sorting quiz, which I did. So I took the official sorting quiz. I took the official wand test and the Paterna test. I did this years ago because I'm super excited about it. Can I play as a... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, Solar Wolf. I, I don't know if you get to choose your sexuality at all. I, I don't know about the rest of that either. You can play as far as I know, any ethnicity that you want. So I was looking up the character creator, and the character creator seems to be pretty expansive. So you do have a lot of options for creating your character in Hogwarts Legacy, which I think is cool. I don't know how it all works, because we're talking about, you know, I don't even remember how many hundreds of years before the Harry Potter. So this is like years in the past. So we're talking about basically around England. Essentially, that's where Hogwarts is. And I know Hogwarts has been around for a while, so if you do have a very diverse ethnic group of characters you can make, are you a transfer student? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how any of that's going to work. Still seems pretty slick. Uh, with the creation of the characters, it looks like you can do a lot of cosmetic changes to how your character looks. Uh, there's definitely men and women that you can play as. And like I said, you can choose different facial shapes and skin tones, eye color, hair color hairstyle and it looked like you could actually put the feminine hairstyles on the men and vice versa in the character creation things that I saw so it looks pretty slick I love character creation I like customizing characters I'm planning to make a version of myself in the game you know you don't have to you can do whatever you want you can just play a character you want to play uh, now when it comes to houses so there's four major houses in Hogwarts Legacy and I'll share their, I'll share the houses here in a second they're there was a time before I took the sorting quiz back when I, the first couple books were coming out. I had a fascination with Slytherin because Slytherin, Severus Snape was part of Slytherin, which I like Severus Snape, and Merlin was part of Slytherin. And it's basically for wizards who are driven and cunning and want to increase their abilities and stuff like that. And it gets bad rap because all of the bad people we see come from Slytherin House. They even make a comment, I think Ronald Weasley makes a comment, that there's no witch or wizard that went bad that didn't come from Slytherin, which is interesting. But I do like their whole aesthetic, the whole silver and green. I like the whole serpent and snake thing. I think that's really cool. Now, I took the official Pottermore quiz, and I actually landed in Ravenclaw, which is why you see the Ravenclaw emblem above me. That is actually an eagle, not a raven. That's interesting. A lot of, a lot of folks, they assume like, oh, you know, Ravenclaw has got to be a raven. No, it's actually an eagle. But... 
looking up about what Ravenclaw is like, it makes sense why I was placed there. So I'm pretty excited to play Ravenclaw. So that's that's what I'm going to end up doing. There's this mobile game uh, called Hogwarts, I think, Mysteries. And I was playing that, but I, I didn't, I don't know. I have a Facebook, finally. They wouldn't let me on Facebook because they don't think my name's real. But I finally got back on Facebook and started playing it, but I created a Slytherin. After taking the Pottermore quiz, I found out that I was Ravenclaw, so I wanted to recreate my character anyway, so I had to start over a few times. So I'm not very far in the game. But, yeah, super excited to play Ravenclaw in Hogwarts Legacy. Definitely picking that if that's his choice. If we take the quiz... Well, I'm going to answer the questions as honestly as possible, like on Pottermore, so I'll probably be placed there anyway. Um, but yeah, there's your, uh, there's my character, first year still, on Hogwarts Legacy. I'm sorry, <laughs> Hogwarts Mystery. I'm so focused on Hogwarts Legacy, I'm super excited here. So let's take a look at the houses. I know there's videos for it, but we're going to take a look at a few of the houses. In order, my preferred houses, the ones that I like the most is I like Ravenclaw, Slytherin's a close, close second. And then Gryffindor and Hufflepuff are kind of there. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't really feel like I connect with either of them that much. As far as spiders go, Rowling did adapt a lot of Tolkien stuff. Tolkien had Shelob, who was a decent, who was a descendant of uh, Unglint. Hagrid's spider likely has a similar lineage, lineage in the forest. That's very possible. I mean, it could, they had to have come from somewhere. Maybe they were already living there. There's definitely a lot of spiders that were there. And maybe he just took over the forest. I don't know. I don't know. And those don't exactly look identical to the type of spider that Aragorn was. But that's a good point. I mean, here's the thing. It's like a lot of fantasy people relate to each other. Like, oh, you've seen that before. You've got it from something else. It's like nothing's original. Actually, Tolkien isn't even the first fantasy writer. Uh, there's people who wrote fantasy before him. But yes, a lot of people reference his work because he did some of the most iconic stereotropes that are used to this day. Either way, there will be a lot of nasty mods for... I, I, I don't know if that's the case, Solar. I don't know if they will have mods like that, but they, they might. I don't know why they would do that, but... I mean, we're also talking about hundreds of years before that, but I guess we'll see. We shall see. So here are some of the houses... For Hogwarts Legacy. So this is the Gryffindor common room. Because when you choose a house, you get a common room. Uh, this house doesn't look bad. I mean, I love the color red. I don't like gold. Like So the whole gold and red aesthetic, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, the line being their emblem. Godric Gryffindor had a sword, which is kind of kind of slick. It's also the only house artifact that didn't become a Horcrux for Voldemort. But that's in the future. None of these are Horcruxes at this time. <coughs> I... I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks nice. It looks kind of like a English study type of a deal. And that's that's the feel I get from it. Very castly, noble lord type of feel to it, in my opinion. So it looks okay. Uh, but again, Gryffindor has never been one of my favorites. So I'm kind of like, meh. All right. All right. But I do like the graphics. And I know my little miniature video of it doesn't do it justice. You can actually see the actual videos and stuff. Um, if you go on to, uh, yeah, onto the internets, you can watch the whole videos and stuff if you look for the houses. So that's the first one. The second one's the one I'm excited about, which is, of course, Ravenclaw, because that's where I'm placing. So there's Rowena Ravenclaw. She had a diadem, uh, which is like the, the house thing. Love all the books. I like the blue. I, th I, I, I think it's blue and gold, and I wish it was blue and silver. Maybe it is blue and silver. Maybe I'm getting the colors wrong. But I think it's blue and gold as their colors. But I think blue and silver looks better. But the big open windows and a tower, wizards being associated with towers, you have to say a riddle to get into the common room. And then the uh, eagle folds up and lets you in, which I think is freaking awesome. Uh, I don't know. I just I like the layout. Definitely feels very wizardy. Uh, I don't know. On a whole, like I said, I think it looks pretty slick. And I... That's definitely the house that I'm going to go with. That's why. So this background that I have here with the chair and stuff, this is actually a shot from the game. And I'm going to be using this as my overlay. It's something I put together. Right there, that chair matches up. That That's that's the, the screenshot I took right there when you're approaching that fireplace. Uh, all right, next one is Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Uh, let's see, she had a chalice. That was That was her thing. 
it, it, it this feels very Tolkien to me, like a a Hobbit hole feel to it. Very earthy, plant based. It's a nice common room. Um, out of all the common rooms, it's probably my second favorite uh, next to Ravenclaw. And Hufflepuff pretty much accepts everyone. They like loyalty and fair play. Uh, where, you know, I forgot about Ravenclaw. is all about wit and logic and things like that, which that, that fits me. Well, I, I'm a very logical, analytical thinker. That's why I do what I do for a living. Uh, but it looks like a nice common room. I'm not a huge fan of gold. Never have been. The color yellow, I just, I just don't like the color yellow. Uh, so I'm just not a huge Hufflepuff fan. Not that I have anything wrong with Hufflepuffs. Uh, so we have Newt Scamander from the Fantastic Beats series. He's from Hufflepuff. Uh, I think Professor Sprout is also from Hufflepuff, the uh, herbology teacher. Ravenclaw. Let's see. There's like Flitwick. Professor Flitwick was from Ravenclaw. And I like Flitwick a lot. I think he's pretty slick. All right, and then last but not least, we have Slytherin House. And like I said, I love the aesthetics. It's in the dungeon, so it's like it's. I like the more gothic, gothicy, dark aesthetic to it. I love the golden green. I like the serpents. I think it looks like a nice house. Salazar Slytherin though was obviously kind of a jerk and an elitist. Uh, and then of course they had a locket uh, for their house item, which again, all of these became Horcruxes for. Voldemort besides for uh, the Sword of Gryffindor. But I don't know. I think that's... I don't know. I think it's pretty slick. The Black Lake being right outside the windows is kind of creepy. Like, I know magically probably bound so they don't break, but just the thought of those breaking and flooding the common room freaks me out. But I like the lighting in the rooms and stuff, and I definitely like the decor a lot. I don't know. Maybe this is my, maybe this is my second favorite to Ravenclaw. Maybe I like Ravenclaw. I think... I don't know. I, th I think maybe... Gryffindor is my least favorite common room. But yeah, there's just so much to this game already, and just looking at all the stuff, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I don't know. Definitely think folks should take the official quiz. I took the uh, wand quiz. Apparently I get a red oak wand, 12 and a half inches with a phoenix core. Rather flexible. I learned that Tolkien was a master of world building, but telling a story, it could be very dry. Rawling tells a very good story, but she has she wasn't thinking about world building until afterwards. I guess I could see that. Tolkien was more of a linguist than anything else, and people were saying that if he wants to write these languages, he should probably write a background from where they came from, and it slowly progressed into a story because nobody wanted to read about his languages. So first and foremost, I'm pretty sure he's a linguist, if I understood Tolkien correctly. All right, I'm going to go watch some YouTube see you guys take care solar wolf thanks for hanging out so how many of you have taken the Pottermore quizzes and if you have what houses have you landed in what wands have you gotten and what's your Patronus kind of curious make this a little interactive conversation here uh, the quiz is from the uh, is wizarding world obviously so if you look for I it used to be called Pottermore so I I don't I don't know if they just renamed it and it redirects it because, well, it says, Welcome to the New Pottermore. Okay, so wizardingworld.com is now officially what it was, but I went back on it when it was still Pottermore. So if you get to that link, if you haven't taken the quizzes yet, the quiz is pretty quick, pretty fun. It's not really that quick, actually. The houses quiz is pretty long. So one thing that bothers me is the Patronus is very random. So you can technically, if you took the same Patronus quiz, like there's different sites you can do to technically retake it because you can't retake it on the official Wizarding World site. Your Patronus is locked in forever. Kind of sucks, especially as you grow as an individual might be different, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, but it seems like if you take the same quiz and do the same answers, your Patronus is random. So it's locked within a group based upon those answers, but it's not always going to be the same one even if you answer it the same way. So I think that's slightly frustrating, but I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't even know if you're going to be able to use a Patronus in Hogwarts Legacy or not. Uh, I, I know, obviously, you're going to have a wand. You're going to have some special magical power that allows you to do something with magic that's like raw energy magic that no one else can do. It's like a rare trait and talent, so it makes you unique. I know you're also going to start... Hogwarts super late, so you're going to be much older. I think you're going to be, I think it's a seventh year or something. But, uh, I don't know. 
it definitely looks like it's going to be a pretty slick game. I can't wait to uh, <laughs> can't wait to play it. And I know I'm not the only one. 